Hello everybody, and welcome back to I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. This is Decadence Night, and this is a Let's Play. So, last time, last time we spoke, we had just blown up the airship on which we are currently flying. Um, and before I started this part, I decided to kind of go back, go through some of the older rooms again, see if there was anything I missed. Um, turns out I did miss a couple of things. Um, nothing incredibly important, except for maybe one thing, which I will show you in just a second. Uh, I will show you this, though, because this is pretty interesting. Um, I did look at the book before, and I tried to, to take the cookbook, but I, I never tried using it, and, uh, you get this interesting little tidbit here when you do, so, uh, check this out. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive, and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Some weird crap is what that is, Gorister. Well, pretty interesting. You know, might might be important. Doesn't seem like it is, but you know what? You never know. All right, we're gonna walk to the door. We're gonna leave the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, I still have the same items that I had before because I didn't really find anything else that was useful, and I was quite thorough, actually. There is another thing that's interesting over here. I was not being thorough enough uh, when I was in some of these cabins. Uh, if you look out this porthole here, check this out. Jesus, that engine's huge. Again, just kind of interesting. You know, nothing really critical. I mean, I already knew that it was an airship. But, uh, you know, showing me the engines. Maybe there's something I can do there, but I doubt it. Uh, and while I was, while I was editing part one together, here, I'll, there's something, there's something interesting over this way, I'll kind of talk while I walk. While I was editing part one together, I, I, I kind of noticed a sort of a, a critical error on my part, kind of a critical judgment error. I, I sort of assumed that I needed to land the airship, and I realize now that that may have been a false assumption. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this airship. Could be that I'm supposed to fly somewhere, could be that I need to land somewhere specific, but, you know, what I was doing before was I was trying to land in the middle of goddamn nowhere, and that obviously would have done me no good anyway, so my priority has shifted this time. Now let me show you one other thing that I missed. There's this little electrical node here. Well, obviously you can't really miss the nodes, they're pretty obvious, but I didn't realize I could interact with one of them. And, uh, check this out. Zap. Yo! A few more shucks like that might kill me. Yeah, so we're not gonna touch that again. Uh, we will look at it though. Some kind see of what electrical he says. contraption. Friggin' sparks dancing all around it. Very astute of you there, Gorister. Yes, it is an electrical contraption. Otherwise known as a thingamajig. So now, I said that my priority has shifted. Well, my priority has shifted to getting inside this door. Because I have a very, a very Filthy. sneaking the feeling that, so cool. uh, that this door is in fact the bridge. You know, what else could it be? You know, I've been in the dining area, I've been in the kitchen, I've been in the cabins. What the hell else could it be? Now, last time I tried picking it with the fork and that didn't work. Then I tried shooting down the door, which we're obviously not going to try again because, as it turns out, uh, flammable gases plus source of ignition equals kaboom. So we're not going to try that again. Um, they should have used safe, inflammable helium, but it appears, it appears they're using hydrogen instead. Well, Am is using hydrogen. All right, what I didn't try, I have no idea if this is going to work. See if maybe I can jimmy the door open with the knife. It's locked. It's locked. Well, that's not going to work. Hmm. Kind of hoping that would work. And I've been pretty damn thorough with the rest of these rooms. There's nothing else wrong with that hatch. Nothing else going on. There's nothing else in any of the cabins. There's nothing else in the kitchen. There's nothing else in that trash party room. There is something else I want to try, though. 
Big gray bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. Wonderful observation there. Um, bear with me here. I'm gonna give something a shot. I have no idea what those gas sheets is rushing are out. for. So, maybe... I don't know what to I, do with these. Ah, uh, I was thinking maybe I could, like, maybe put a patch on it and then reinflate it and maybe, like, I don't know, put more gas. You know, that would result in, like, more gas being in the bag. Maybe I can change my altitude that way. I have no idea. Bear with me here. I'm, I'm really, really am, um, grasping at straws. Maybe last time I wasn't being patient enough. Um, I'm sorry that I'm gonna be showing you more footage of just, you know, stabbing airbags. We're dropping slowly. Yeah, we're obviously dropping slowly. Um... Why is that alarm going on? Now, the last time that I, you know, it deflated all the bags, um, you know, I kind of walked around a little bit and that resulted in the crash. So maybe if I walk around a little bit more while it's dropping, maybe it will come to a gentle landing. Uh, let's just see what happens. Or you know what? Maybe that changed something at why the is door. Going off? I don't see why it would, but you know what? Maybe, maybe I can use the door now. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Man. Five minutes into part two, and I'm already stuck. These two sheets make a halfway decent rope. Whoa! Whoa ho! Would you look at that? I made a rope! Holy shit, okay. Why is that alarm going I have on? a rope now. Interesting. Can I. Can I use the rope with the hatch? Can I climb out of here? Why waste my rope on that? Oh, uh, I guess not. Hmm. What can I use the rope on? Alright, you know what? That alarm is really doing hell for the audio right here. Switch. Yes, yes, yes. Use the switch, please. Stop the noise. Thank you. Inflating. Sorry about that. I'll, uh, I'll drop the audio on that alarm. I know that's pretty annoying. Wait a minute. Look at the stitching? That is- that stitching? Ah, well, I, I have no idea how I missed that before. You know, four little pixels of yellow. God. Alright, well, let's take the stitching. I'm sure I can. I wouldn't know what to do with it even if I could oh, take it. I guess not. Well, let's see, let's... Let's just look Someone's at the stitching. Someone's cut this fabric before. It's stitched closed. Someone's cut it before. This looks you know, sharp enough. Yes, yes, yes. Sharp enough to cut through anything. You know, let's use the knife with the stitching. I've ripped a new hole. Oh. Look this at leads the tear. To a girder sticking out of the airship. Whoa, ho, ho. Interesting. We're making progress, guys. Would you look at that? No doubt Something about different. it now. Am has put me on an iron zeppelin. But why, iron zeppelin. Why would he give me a chance to escape? Hmm. Gorister's heart? That heart's all wired up like some kind of weird guidance system. And with Am in control, I'm not gonna like where it's taking me. Whoa. Okay. Is there anything else here? Mooring ring, okay. I don't know what to do with this. Okay, um, I'm thinking if I try to walk out there, I'm probably gonna get blown off by the wind and end up falling to my death. I don't want that to happen. I want to see if maybe I can... Too tight. You, well, I can't take the rope back, but I don't, I doubt that I want to. Let's see, I don't know use the Morin Ring? It. No. Alright, uh, let's see. Look at Morin this Ring. Give me a hint. Zeppelin's Morin Ring. Well, no shit, Sherlock. I would like to tie myself to the rope, give myself kind of a safety. Ah, oh, come on. 
I know that doesn't make any sense, what but push the rope. Me? Yeah, thank you. Oh man, you know, use. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. The use the too fork. Bent to be of any use. Can I straighten the fork? Use the fork the with the knife. Too bent to be of any use. Well, bend it back, dude. It's probably. It's like. It's stainless steel. You can bend that with your fingers. Just bend it back. And then it'll be useful again. Uh, I guess it's not gonna work that way. Use the knife with the mooring ring. Yeah, obviously that doesn't work. Alright, well, I have my rope back. Ah, uh, alright. Can I use the rope with Why waste the heart? my rope on that? No, obviously not. Mm, and I can't... I can't tie the rope around myself. Why waste... Why waste my rope on that? Oh, I just... Okay, I have two sheets again. Well... These two sheets... I think, uh, I think a rope is definitely more useful than just two sheets. Okay. Uh... Going around in circles, I know, I know. I'm figuring this out. Give me a break. Look at the rope. Can I look at the rope? strong enough to support my weight. Okay, great. Can you, can you... Can you grab the rope? Can you... Take the rope. I wouldn't know what to... No, not the mooring ring, you idiot. Take... The rope. I tied there the we... too tight. Grab onto it! Oh my god. Okay, there must be something else I need to do. I clearly can't just... Grab straight onto it, or... Tie it around my wrist or anything like that. Oh, man. You know what? I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this, so you know what? I'm, I'm gonna be smart. Alright, I'm gonna try to be smarter this time. Last time I was kinda just going on instinct, and that got me killed three times, so I'm gonna try to be smarter now. I'm gonna save the game. Continue playing, alright. Let's just try taking the heart. See if I'm right about the wind blowing me off and falling to my death. Oh! He just automatic- Oh! Well, I obviously overcomplicated that. Sweet! This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Interesting. Okay. Hey, he's smiling now. Aww. Well, he's happier. Doesn't be his heart doesn't beat anymore, but there's Look a at compass and wires attached to this heart. Okay. So it's some kind of navigational tool. Well, it kind of said that earlier. All right, um... Let's take the rope back, you know, just for... You know, just for old time's sake. Well, that old time's sake, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Just because... Hey, we have happier music now. Okay, well... Hmm... A switch. Maybe... Hmm... Maybe I can connect the heart... Oh, crap. Maybe I can connect the heart to that thingamajig and... Hmm... Obviously this door over here is still gonna be locked and that is still bugging me. It's that locked. That has to be the bridge. I mean, what the hell else could it be? Alright. So, let's go over here. And I think I'm gonna save it again. Like like I said, I'm being smart here. This kills me. I want to be able to start over again. You know, no more of that um, sometime later stuff. I know that's probably pretty annoying. All right, continue. All right, let's see if this kills it's me. Too Use the heart. For me to cross without falling. What? What's too narrow? What? It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. What? I- I already have the heart! Some kind of electrical contraption. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Oh, don't tell me this is a glitch! I already have the heart! 
I already have it. It's too narrow for me to cross without a fall. We're, we're not on the girder anymore. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I think this is a glitch. Oh, man. I, I want to connect the heart to the node and then see if maybe I can use the heart to kind of control where I'm going, but it's not letting me use the heart. Why waste my ro- Yeah, obviously I can't do that. Damn it. So, sorry about that. We're back out here again. I'm pretty sure that before was a glitch because I was saying to use the heart, but it wouldn't let me because for some reason it thought that it was still out on the girder. So I'm gonna try to hit use it's here. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Okay, trigger that. Trigger that heart's text all wired thing. Up like some kind of weird guidance system. Okay. With aiming control, I'm not gonna like where it's taking me. All right, now let's tie the rope onto the mooring ring again. Then we take the heart. We get this nice little cutscene. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Well, at least it's back inside your chest, though. And at least you're a little happier now. At least here you are. Not up there, but right here you are. Okay, now let's... Let's take the rope back. I don't know what to do. Ah, uh, come on. On the rope. There we go. Alright, we have the rope back. Could be of some use. You never know. I still have no idea what the deal is with the airbags or the switch. But you know what? It might be nothing. I've, I don't think it's nothing. Why would it be nothing? But, you know what? We'll find out later. I am- I am starting to figure this out, though. You can give me credit here. I'm- I'm doing a little better. I've gotten a lot farther. Alright, let's go back over here. If it gives me that same message again, I'm gonna be pretty damn- It's too narrow for me to cross uh, without falling. Oh uh, no! I was wrong. Or maybe it is a glitch and doing what I did didn't prevent it. Oh man. I must be going mad. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna try to swallow the heart. That'd be stupid. Oh man. Give the heart to. Can't give it to the node. Some kind of electrical contraption. Friggin' sparks dancing all around it. Okay, maybe I can't hook up the heart to the node. Maybe that was just... Maybe that was just a stupid, um... Stupid, uh, stupid idea. And... It's too narrow for me to... Yes, yes, yes. Use the fork the with the heart. The fork's too bent to be of any use. fork's too bent to be of any use. Is there any way to bend it back? Is there any way to... Is there any way to fix it? I'm not gonna stick the fork into the node. I'm not that stupid. I mean, it might be good for a laugh, but I'm not gonna try to, um, not gonna try to electrocute myself. Oh, man. What the fuck am I doing? Filthy. Like. Yes, it is quite filthy. There must be something. There has to be something I'm missing. Either there's something I'm missing, or that is a game like breaking bug. I hope not. Yeah, this is the recent Steam release. Maybe, may, maybe there's some kind of bug in it. I hope that's not the case. Oh man, I didn't miss anything in these rooms. I was thorough. I know I was thorough. Alright, you know what, let's go back into the kitchen. Maybe there's something with that cookbook. Everything's co uh, I wish it would just do use by default instead of look at. 
Is there anything else? Can't take the frying pan. Although, why would I want to? There's nothing down there. There's the oven where the gas is off. There's the door. Nothing else in here. I don't know. Let's pay attention to this cookbook. Maybe there's a hint. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Well, can't exactly put that stuff on your shopping list, can ya? Uh, it's obviously just supposed to be symbolic of something. I don't think it's a hint for anything. Famous last words. There's nothing I can do with the bottle, it's just an empty bottle. This isn't a Zelda game. Uh, all this debris is useless. I can't do anything with it. Wait a minute. I never tried using the knife with the tablecloth. Can I cut it off? I don't know what to do with these. No. It says it's stable to the table, but I can I? Don't know what to do with these. Don't know what to do with these. Tablecloth's not going to be of any use anyway. What am I going to do? Make a second rope? Chairs are useless because they're all broken. There's nothing useful in the debris. Well, wait a minute. Did I just see something? Debris. Tablecloth. Bowl of punch. Whoa, vomit stain. Look at vomit, vomit stain. stains. Near the punch bowl. Oh, that's just another hint. <laughs> the game gives me, like, what? What was it? Three hints? Basically, in capital letters, DON'T DRINK THE PUNCH. Of course you have to drink it. Why not? You gotta see what happens. Oh man. Oh, I would- I would hate to end this part still on this goddamn airship, but I might have to do that. Oh. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. Okay. You know what, let's- Filthy. let's go to the- Can I go to a- go to a mirror and- There must be something di there must be something different in the mirror, cause that hole in his chest is gone. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Fucking- Fucking epiphany! Oh, man, okay, well... I think I'm gonna save it again. You know what? No, there's no point in saving it. My last save is at this exact same point. Let's give myself a little shock. Let's de let's defibrillate myself. Yo! Is it beating now? It's, it's heart beating now. For me to uh. Every All right, let's go into the mirror again. I don't think it's beating again. If it were beating again, I think it would tell me. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Doesn't beat anymore. Well, that was worth a shot. I thought maybe giving myself a little shock would... would like, you know... it would, it would jumpstart the heart again. That was a good idea, right? Right? Oh man, oh, what else, what else can I do? That door is still locked. I haven't found a key or anything like that. I tried pushing the door open, that didn't work. I tried the knife, I tried the fork, I tried the gun, and that was obviously brilliant. I think there's only one more thing to do. There's only one more thing I can try. I'm pretty sure it is going to kill me. Oh, this is so stupid. Why am I doing this? Yo! A few more shucks like that might kill me. Alright, well, using the fork didn't make a difference. Can I use the knife I on the heart? I just dull my knife. Just dull your knife. Can I use? That Why doesn't make waste any sense. My rope on that? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm grasping at straws here. I am obviously 
terrible at games like this. Oh, he's not happy anymore. Where did his smile go? Turn that frown upside down, Gorister. Um, what can I do? What can I do? What else can I do? Use the knife on the node? All right. Well, I shocked myself too many times. Obviously, the game told me not to do it, but what the fuck else was I gonna do? Man, I was really proud of that defibrillation idea. I thought that was a fantastic idea. I was sure that was gonna work. Uh, obviously it didn't. And I can't use the heart. To cross without falling. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Take There's the heart. There's a compass and wires. There's a compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The airbags are already inflated. Yes, yes. Alright. Back to doing this again. I know I didn't- I know you didn't get enough of it last time. Gas is rushing out. I don't know what to do with it. What are you talking about? Use the knife with the airbag. Let's open it up again. Something feels different. I know you just love that alarm sound. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. We're dropping slowly. This leads to a girder stick. Let's go outside while we're, we're approaching falling. some kind of building. Hey, hey! Whoa! There's a building in the distance. It's a building in the distance, okay. And we're dropping slowly. Let's reattach the rope. Alright. Save it. Can I walk? No, obviously not. Okay, there's a building in the distance. I don't know what else to do. I- <laughs> I don't know. Let's try popping one more airbag. See if maybe that gets us closer to the honky-tonk. We're still dropping slowly. Don't even need to look at the altimeter to know that. We're approaching some kind of building. Still approaching some kind of building. I can't just walk over there. It doesn't even give me... It doesn't even give me a, a response to it. It's like, I think the game thinks that there's no way anyone could be stupid enough to just try to walk over there. Why should we give a little response to it? Oh, man. There's a All right, compass. Well, there's a compass and wires. I still I'm can't use the rope heart. trick again. He's not pulling that rope trick again. All right. Hmm. Well, let's take the rope back again. Why is that alarm going off? Oh, no! Three bags was too much. Really hate to say this, but this is my... It's only my second part, but no, no. I'm not gonna look up a walkthrough. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. What I will look up is whether or not the Steam release of this game is bugged. Well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And, uh, no amount of clicking around on everything is going to help me figure this out. So, I'm afraid that this is going to have to be the end of part two. 
I really wanted to get off the airship during this part, but looks like it's not gonna happen. I just couldn't figure it out. God damn it, I'm disappointed. Well, hope you guys enjoyed watching part two of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. This has been Decadence Nights. I will see you guys later.